Welcome back to another amazing episode of None of Buried Treasure. What could possibly happen this time, other than searching for some more relics and, as said before, treasure. But with extra faces now are attending the school, some that may or may not get along with them very easily, and then some others who, well, they have a bit of a reputation, one that I think they'd like to uphold, but at what cost? And how many more treasures are going to have to be belittled before this is over? Do you want to find out? Let's watch. Well, the some trying to at least stand out to him. I'm guessing this is long before the events that we've been seeing. The last one standing takes it. Well, so, I mean, we've seen what he thinks of the treasures themselves and others who kind of just kind of get in his way. But what is it exactly that led everyone to not only distrust him, but somewhat despise him along the way, but also be terrified of his of his actions? Is this talking about the club? So there was only one there that he actually cared about there, one that... he actually had respect for. And it seems as though he's been on a tirade ever since they left. Hmm. But what... What is he willing to do, or what isn't he willing to do, in order to just get what he wants? See, this show is kind of... Well, doesn't take itself too seriously, and I do love that, but there are moments with actual danger and drama to it and you know at the core we still got the uh, murder mystery with Nanana -na -na, so I do... I do wonder though how many episodes we're going to spend actually searching for treasure in, a, in all of this. A day? <laughs> really tear him down to size immediately. So it's just a meeting of students and the like. This isn't like one of those games. Although we've seen what happens in shows where they actually have optional uh, dialogue choices. I mean, they both seem to have put some effort into this, at least. So, who's... There we go. And now to... Ruin the mood. <laughs> Does he need an ominous aura track like this? Yes. Yes, he does. <laughs> I 
I mean, as long as she doesn't have any scary faces that... that terrify her into inaction. Keep going up, he'll reach and get it for you. He sensed immediate danger, therefore had to leave on it. Even if it's just a saver, how are you going to... Yeah, that's by design. Even if there is immediate uh, murderous intent, does it mean that it's directed at him? Hmm. Now is he distracted? Yes, he is. Where's he gone? Well, that was easy to catch up to. In a second of... Uh, And what treasures does he, does he own to uh, cause this much distress? If he, is he going to be safe if he's out in public? I mean, we saw him kind of meld into the shadows and disappear before, so I'm not surprised that he's Batmaning all around. Oh, so is this like a power of suggestion type thing? He knows exactly what to do or when to use a boot to the face. <laughs> Doesn't have to be a, um, be a treasure. It can just be a... Swift kick to the jowls. I think after what we've just seen, everyone needs a little... extra security. Whether it be night or not. Was she expectant of a story? Yes, yeah, she is. Ah, no, she's expecting a prize, a present, a souvenir of his trip outside. Is he about to be pummeled? Uh-oh. What is she crunching? If it's just the arms, fine. A lot special. Not sure what that is, but I think I can guess from his, uh... Stature. Make it... She's acting as though they've never met, and he... I think from her... From her responses, her knowledge is very brief. Is there going to be someone who has been following her back, even though she said doesn't need it? Swift and immediate. Isn't it also criminal to assault someone? Well, I guess that applies to both of them, really, but still. <laughs> A 
very wise of her to back off even more. By referencing the three skulls and then a name, how many groups and things are at play here? What are their goals? Why is he taking off his jacket? Better man maneuverability. Is he getting serious now? Or he just doesn't want to damage his outfit? If you keep letting him advance... I wasn't expecting any grand fight to occur, but being overpowered like this... Ah, reset himself. Wait for the pap. Wait for the draw, but okay. Apparently, he doesn't like police. Uh, yeah, good idea to hide the sword. And now they're going to have to spend several. Actually, good quick thinking, I guess. The fact he didn't at least look back to check if there was any officers or anything there is kind of surprising. And how is he meant to, to, to ensure that? Right. So he will guard her itself. While he what goes out and tries to, so he's meant to be doing with all the bits outside the threatening ways of malice, keep him away, while for getting him involved. Hmm. I guess after their original meeting, she is. Uh, Speaking quite highly of him. What are they exactly expecting a bunch of students to actually do against him? I mean, he hasn't done anything lethal as such. <laughs> as such so far, apart from that. Apparently, it was much more than just a kick to the face. I would take it as they might know something, then. And for some reason, he's now just turning up again after we had several weeks of absolutely nothing. Brought about the ruin. What? So it's like we used to have this adventurer club, but now it's just down to him and the other two, essentially. But what was that? Not fast enough for for him. Well, kind of obviously, she she graduated. Why doesn't that surprise me? Until there was but a fraction of them alone. Oh no. Ah, it's the one with the short hair, isn't it? But also. Oh, there's a crunch. First off, sacrificing your club members to obtain treasures is. Ri Ah, they survived at least, but to what degree? 
But also, wasn't he also the one to try and sacrifice some uh, party members in order to obtain treasures? Is he any better? Is it the club in name only? So, he's got to be careful. <laughs> well, handing over any details they have, or maybe even treasures. Perpetually hot tea could actually do something here. Standing outside, doing her own due diligence. Ah. I mean, we don't particularly need to know after she went storming out, but still. Brief, to the point, exactly what we needed to know. Huh. What, was she just on holiday or something? Huh. There's no glory in solving a case after it's been after it's been done. Why they left, where they've been, their past dealings, what who they may know. There's more, more of them that are interested. I mean, after the brief meeting that they had, where it seemed like a memory issue. I mean, in this place, is there anyone that isn't being used in some way or another? Is whatever happened also the reason she was terrified of men? I mean... It's interesting that she's carrying on the investigation when once the you know the case is closed. This is now just for her own personal uh, curiosity. There we go with the free skulls again. I mean, what we saw was just her genuine fear because it was kind of scary. But if she also subconsciously was terrified of him because of something before, I, of course, just go do it first. I mean, he has prior dealings with them anyway. I'm sure we can find one way or another to, to talk to her, to gather some more intel. But we are setting up a grand adventure next, so I'm happy enough to... It's more than just the treasures now. It's someone's safety. The game's playing itself. Yeah, why can't... 
because it involves someone that okay it's not play, play, playing itself anymore it's just the background stuff but yeah after someone appeared that upset her so badly now that he's trying to keep her away from that upset again Hold up. Work. No more forgetting pudding. Or is this going to be the one time when it's not... <laughs> when it's not about pudding. He can't keep it. Or that. Fair enough. I mean, he's asked for more... more information than he's usually allowed by her own rules, so... What about giving it to someone else to use? Is that against the rules? Well, I'm guessing she knows exactly what each and every one of them is and do and where they are, so... I mean, she does have her own rule set that she said that she needs to follow. I mean, she's enjoying her life now. Games and pudding, what can go wrong? And it's suddenly a lot quieter. The room is definitely a lot more lonely without the dull blue glow from the uh, from the computer monitors. But a little more mystery to go along with this episode, having granted having the uh, the guy who was so bursting with animosity for everyone, sacrificing club members in order to successfully pa pass a trial and get a treasure <sighs> what else is he not phased by what is the end goal for why he was collecting treasures and being so forceful about it is it power is it something a lot more human at the end of it Because the show is really trying to write him up to be a complete bastard. Even though the current club president kind of did a lot of the same things that he did. Yeah. Mistreating people, using underhanded tactics, try sacrificing them to obtain treasure. Still, that help, help, police, help move was actually kind of, kind of smart for her. I do think that we've added uh, you know, pressure and elements into this story. You know, before, I was kind of worried, you know, we didn't really have much of a direction. Sure, he wanted to help solve none of those problems and who, who killed her, as well as searching for treasures and kind of somewhat have a normal school life. But it was somewhat... There wasn't the uh, ticking clock, there wasn't the pressure to actually do it. Now you're bringing in these characters, some with like a mysterious-ish past, and then the big guy who... Well, they just want to defeat him because, well, he's a bad man. Where does it really go from here? There is... A lot of fun that could be had with this show. And with Nana both wanting to just sit at home and play games, not that she can really go anywhere, and eat pudding, having her as a kind of vestibule for knowledge, if you're ever having problems with the, the treasures or the challenges themselves, come to her and she'll have a little bit of uh, some tidbits for them. Not that she's actually willing to help. I do wonder 
considering there's so much emphasis on you may not use this treasure which you find here. What is it going to be and how like direct for that particular situation is he going to find himself in? Is it going to be like, oh, you're allow it allows the uh, revival of one person recently deceased. Oh, shit, I can't use it. None of that told me not to. And to be honest, considering the nature of some of the treasures, it really could be anything from absolute nothing. Oh, this lets you use a deodorant spray for twice as long as a normal can. Ooh. To something that you know, we've, we saw it can help to expose lies. That's kind of powerful. But it is really you know, how you use them, what situation you need them for. So anything could be well, a, a saving grace for anyone, given the right circumstance. I think that's why none of us so upset after it was one of them was said to just be trash. The show is just kind of dumb, as I said before. There's lots of elements which is just... <sighs> but it makes up for it in so many other ways. And the fact it doesn't take itself seriously, so it, it acknowledges that it's dumb, and therefore we can enjoy it for such. And after some of the shows that I've been watching, I kind of need more dumb. Is he going to be able to reunite with the uh, the one that he angered in this episode after being so forceful with the the, the glasses girl? Is he going to be able to save anyone else, least of all Nana herself? And how much of him, of himself is he willing to sacrifice to do so? Kind of like the opposite of the one who's willing to sacrifice others. We'll have to see. So, if you enjoy this one, let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below. Consider subscribing. Maybe join onto my Discord. For now, get yourselves a bit of rest so I can see you there. If you want to help protect my channel from those that wish it harm, consider joining onto my Patreon because I don't need to skulk into the shadows otherwise. And so, I do need to thank M.O, Noku, Sal, Guado, Kite, Wolfie Sensei, and everyone else for even without any treasures of any power. This channel does quite well, thanks to all of you.